line of best fit. I want to break down a scatter plot with a line of best fit a little bit more um, to each of the parts or whatever. Okay, so sales is a variable. Okay, so that's one of the things that we're talking about. We're talking about sales. And then the other variable is temperature. So do you think that these are correlated or just causation? Or, I'm sorry. So do you think that temperature causes sales or sales cause temperature? No, so they're definitely not causation, but there is a positive correlation, okay? So then we have our line of best fit is this actual like line here, okay? We also have a data point. What is a data point? It's any one of these little dots, all right? And then our last one is outliers. Okay, outliers are the little things all by themselves that don't, that are like the odd one out. So here are examples, an example of a line of best fit. Notice it goes pretty much through the center of my points, where a non-example doesn't really go through the majority of the points. A better line here would have been like around there, okay? So I just wanted to show you example or non-examples. Most of the questions you'll see will be like, which of the following shows the line of best fit? And it'll be like a graph like this is the answer and like the rest of the choices kind of look like this one. Okay. So let's go ahead and determine an equation of line of best fit. So we will only be talking about linear. Okay. We are only talking about linear functions when we talk about line of best fit. So here I have the environmental club is interested in a relationship between X, the number of canned beverages sold, so this is my X, in the cafeteria, and Y, the number of cans that are recycled. So Y is my number of cans that are recycled. The data collected are listed in this chart. Determine an equation of line of best fit of data. Okay, so usually we use our handheld calculator and we go to stat, edit, Put in our table L1 is my X, L2 is my Y, da da da, and do all that and do linear regression. Okay, you can totally do that with the yellow calculator. However, on the EOC, we will not have a yellow calculator, so we need to know how to do it in Desmos. Remember, we are in test mode of Desmos, we choose our assessment and we hit start practice. We need to put in our table, so we are going to go to add the little plus and do table. Remember our X and our Y. So number of cans, beverages sold, so this is our X values we're gonna put in, and these are our Y values we're gonna put in. So X 18, 15, 19, 8, 10, 13, 9, 14, and our Y values were 8, 6, 10, 6, 3, 7, 5, and 4. All right, so if I look over here, it graphs it for me. So I can see that it's probably gonna be a positive <clears throat> slope, it's positive correlation. All right, so here comes the tricky part, and we're gonna write this down in our notes. What we are gonna type, so the first thing we have to do is input the table. And the second thing we are gonna type is Y1, and then we're gonna use this little like curvy thing, mx1 plus b. Okay, we can't use equals because it will mess us all up. All right, so we're gonna hit y1, so we need to hit the little subscript, one, get out of the subscript. We need the little curvy thing, it's right down here at the bottom. And then mx1 plus b. And notice it gives us my M and my B, okay? So my slope is 0.387 and my y-intercept is one, about, okay? So let's just say 0.4 is my slope and one is my B. So my equation would be Y equals 0.4X plus one. 